This is Benjamin, captain of the Flying Spur, and I am back up the mast again for a new project. I'm installing the radar mount. First, I need to line up the assembly and mark the holes for drilling in the feet. You don't want to drill things twice here. I rehearsed this on deck and found zip ties on top and on bottom as well as a sling around the mast keeps things in place really well for marking the drill holes. I only had to drop down once to check the alignment and it was near perfect. My favorite part, drilling holes in a boat, not really. I hesitate to do this every time. It just never seems right. <laughs> in fact, I procrastinate this and rehearse it over and over in my mind until I feel confident and comfortable doing it. Maybe that's a good thing, who knows. Like the mast, the entire radar mount assembly is aluminum, including the rivets, which weren't too difficult to pop in. Here's the finished rivet feet before hoisting the assembly. I attempted to mount the assembly solo, but hoisting it with any accuracy was proving to be difficult and it needs to be at the right height so I can slip the bolts through. It's just too heavy to maneuver without something holding it in place. So it's back down for another day. I ended up enlisting a neighbor to man the halyard while I was aloft and the process went really smooth and it was mounted in no time. So I just have to run 20 meters of line down the mast, right. through the deck, and into the cabin near the companionway where I am installing the chart plotter. Alright, let me... There you go. Thank you, sir. Little marine grade silicone. Good, uh, dry inside that mast. I'm pretty psyched to have gotten this project done. Uh, now I just have to put a hole in the deck, run this cable that we just took down the mast, run it all the way down through the deck, and then aft uh, to the new chart plotter. And uh, the flying spur has radar. More holes in my boat. I'm removing the cosmetic cover in the galley for the old instruments. I'll need to find some thin teak veneer and build a new one at some point. I'm just lacking a woodworking shop. Cutting the template is delicate. There's airborne fiberglass epoxy and itchy lungs aren't something anyone wants aboard the Flying Spur. So I was extra precautious and ran a vacuum hose alongside the cutting tool to catch as much as possible. I'm also wearing an effective respirator. There are two layers of fiberglass in this boat's construction, which according to the boat builder creates a moisture and temperature barrier. Fortunately, the inner layer is much thinner than the outer layer. I'm covering the area before cutting the inner fiberglass to avoid getting that dust into the cabin. That would be a drag. All in all, this went without a hitch.
just gonna heat up the shrink tubing over the 12 volt terminal connections here and power everything up. Hey, thanks for watching this episode and joining me aboard the Flying Spur. Thank you very much to my patrons. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit like, subscribe, share with anyone that you might think would be interested. i uh, got a big day coming up aboard the Flying Spur. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.